Hello friends, in this video, we will see how tetrahedral elements and hexahedral elements will impact on cantilever beam deformation. Let's discuss fundamental things. Cantilever beam is having length of 1000 mm. Its width is 100 mm. And its height is 100 mm. These three are the geometrical properties. For the beam deformation, only Young's modulus is required as a material property. Beam is fixed as shown here. Load of 50,000 newtons is applied at the end of this cantilever beam. These two, force and fixed support, we consider as an external conditions. For the bending formula, moment of inertial plays critical role. Its formula is width multiply with height of power 3 divides by 12. And its deformation expression is shown here. Which proportional to force, length of power 3. And inversely proportional to material modulus and moment of inertia. Let's first make a spreadsheet for this to compare with finite element results. Select spreadsheet workbench. Click here to add a new document. Save this document. Provide name and click on save button. Add spreadsheet. Adding title. Merge cells. Edit text. Add geometric properties. Enter parameter name, its value, and its unit. Do the same for width. Do the same for height. Next, material property. Add Young's modulus as a parameter name. Its value. Its unit. Next, we will set environment condition. Let's add force here. Its value. Its unit. Next, we will set alias for all input parameters. For length. For width. For height.
for Young's modulus. For force. Let's calculate area moment of inertia for this beam. Enter expression here. Add unit here. Set alias for moment of inertia. Let's calculate deformation for the beam, having a point load at an end and fixed at second end of the beam. Add expression here. Let's create beam. Select part workbench. Click on this icon. Double click on cube. Click on expression tool. Link length with spreadsheet. Link width with spreadsheet. Link beam height with spreadsheet. Let's simulate this beam under boundary and loading condition in FEM workbench. Click on analysis container. Define beam material. Select material. Check Young's modulus value. Select beam to define material. Click OK. Let's restrict all degrees of freedom at beam's one end. Add face. Click OK. Next, apply force at beam's second end. Click on add button. Select beam edge. Select force vector. Select force direction and click on direction. Reverse force. Enter value. Click OK. Next step is to mesh this beam. Select body. Generate mesh by G mesh. Q 
Keep second order elements. Provide minimum size and maximum size as 50 mm. Apply. Mesh is generated successfully. Click on Solver. Write input file. Solve this problem. Solution is done. Check results. Total deformation. Von Mises stress. We will cover stress theory in upcoming tutorials. We have noted this value in spreadsheet. Now we will solve this same problem with hexahedral elements. Delete results and mesh. Import hexahedral mesh file. Select mesh file and import. Select this file and drop under analysis. Write input file, run calculations. Solution is done. Check results. See maximum deformation value. Note values in spreadsheet. Compare values with analytical deformation value. You can see that there is no major difference in deformation. In upcoming tutorial, we will compare stress results. Thank you for your time.